Charles Leclerc is rumored to be the most disappointed with the 2022 season's conclusion. The season disappointed Leclerc. Since Silverstone, Ferrari's team principal, Binotto, and Charles Leclerc have not communicated, we worry whether he will leave the team soon. Ferrari has Leclerc till 2025, while Mercedes has a driver nearing retirement. You may know this. Toto Wolff has long been interested in the Monegasque driver, and if he signed him, Charles Leclerc would likely race for Mercedes. Leclerc's discontent with his team's strategy last season is one reason he may quit soon. As you know from our most recent video, there are speculations that Binotto will leave the team and the strategy team will be replaced. So we'll start with that and then examine if Charles Leclerc will join Mercedes. Ferrari has had a tough 2022 season and it appears the team has unable to fix its issues. Thus, if similar scenarios arise in one team, that team will likely discuss changing the management. These dialogues will happen immediately once the circumstances arise. Even if this is true, Ferrari must decide if this strategy will make them more competitive. According to Italian speculations, Ferrari's sporting business managing director and Formula One team manager Binotto would resign. The Ferrari team denied the allegation that it was preparing to replace Binotto with another driver in the days leading up to the Abu Dhabi Grand Prix. Despite this, Binotto is reportedly mulling his departure only days after the season ends. A famous Italian news source reported his resignation today. La Gazzetta dello Sport, another popular Italian news site, and Sky Sports Italy later confirmed this information, therefore it must be true. Ferrari driver Charles Leclerc finished second in the race and won the title over Red Bull driver Sergio Perez. Binotto's last race as team leader was this triumph. This may be a win after a disappointing season. Ferrari gained an early lead over Red Bull and Mercedes in 2022 by focusing on new technical limitations. As a direct consequence of this, Ferrari began off the year by earning victory in the Bahrain Grand Prix and shortly thereafter claimed the lead in both championships. Due to low dependability, strategy mistakes, driver errors and lackluster progress, Ferrari failed to fight for the title. As a result, Ferrari was unable to compete for the title. Despite holding more pole positions, 12, than any other team, Ferrari was unable to win any of the remaining races of the season following the summer break. Despite holding the most pole positions, the team won only four races throughout the year. The Monaco double stacking was so bad that both Ferrari drivers lost positions to Red Bull. One of the biggest mistakes led to this failure. This was crucial. At Silverstone, Leclerc lost places to Sainz, Perez, and Hamilton after waiting out the restart after the second safety car. Hamilton won them. This made him at seeing duck. After that, we remember the classic shot of Binotto supposedly informing Leclerc that he couldn't divulge everything to the media about Silverstone. Leclerc discussed Silverstone with the media. Binotto informs Leclerc that he cannot say anything. Ferrari committed key blunders from the first race to the last. In Brazil, a second sprint race qualification mistake occurred during the event. Leclerc was the sole driver to utilize intermediate tires, since the team incorrectly predicted heavy rain during qualifying. Leclerc lost time throughout qualifying, which prevented him from improving in key three and ultimately placed him eighth in competition. Leclerc was furious that the team didn't summon him into the pit for soft until after he entered the pit stalls to explain why. John Elkan publicly backed Binotto before Ferrari's September home race in Italy. Elkan also noted that the team needs to improve overall. Binotto's first indicator of performance pressure was a warning. After the season, Italian and French media speculated that Ferrari will replace Binotto with Sauber CEO Fred Vassour. These reports focused on Binotto's 2008 joining the team. Vassour is Leclerc's longtime ally. Vassour drove Leclerc in karting, GP3, and his Formula One debut. Ferrari denied the rumors when Binotto phoned El Can for reassurance. In the week after Abu Dhabi, further rumors stated that Binotto was certainly gone citing a disagreement between him and Elkan, and Leclerc's camp's desire for a leadership change. These reports imply Leclerc's side wants a leadership change. These reports coincide with rumors that Binotto and Elkan were feuding. Leclerc is under contract with Ferrari until 2025, but he may leave after that. Ferrari has him until 2025. Binotto has worked for Ferrari full-time since 1995, when he joined the test crew as an engine engineer. Test crew was his first job. After numerous years with Ferrari's engine business, 
he became chief technical officer in 2016. After three more years, he replaced Maurizio Arrivabene as team leader and Gestion Sportiva managing director. He succeeded Maurizio Arrivabene in both jobs. The 2019 Ferrari engine scandal resulted to FIA technical clarifications, team leader throughout this controversy. After this, Ferrari's performance plummeted, and the team went winless for two Formula One seasons. Due to the 2022 restrictions, Ferrari was able to rebuild, but faults remain. 2022 rules helped Ferrari recover. Binotto was intended to return Ferrari to stability and end the politics that had fostered a culture of dread and a revolving door for most of its existence. Neither occurred. The company collapsed because of these issues for a long time. Ferrari may have a Vassor-like successor ready. This person's suspected departure would hurt the process. Benedetto Vigna, the company's CEO, will temporarily assume Binotto's duties. Although it has been reported that Hamilton will continue working with the Silver Arrows for at least another five years, you can be sure that the team will make every effort to sign Leclerc if they have the chance to do so. If truth be told, Hamilton would be happy to step down and give his seat to Leclerc, who is a young and prominent driver who is eager to win a championship, which he has been able to do in a dysfunctional team like Ferrari. The Keat was the first medium to have started this conversation. During their conversation with Leclerc, in an interview, they posed a direct question to him, inquiring whether he has any plans to join Mercedes from 2025 onwards, or more, specifically in 2024. Leclerc was taken aback by this question, and it is safe to say that they were caught off guard by it. His initial response was that he intends to stay with Ferrari and win now, and he added that 2024 is a long time away and there is still time left at Ferrari. Being a part of this team has always been one of my goals, and right now my focus is on winning with them. Ferrari. And then we'll see. But one can't help but wonder about the latter part of this interview, in which Charles Leclerc opens up about the possibility that he plans on leaving Ferrari if he isn't satisfied with how things are standing with the team obviously. His relationship with Binotto isn't blossoming as of now. There is a high chance that he decides enough is enough and goes to a team that has experience winning championships. Not that Ferrari doesn't have experience, but their most recent championship came. In 2007, Mercedes has dominated the sport for eight consecutive seasons in a row. If the opportunity is presented to Leclerc, then he'll have a lot to think about at this point. The team could try to negotiate a deal with a player that could involve Binotto staying as team principal and the strategy team being fired in order to satisfy his needs. That fact that Leclerc might go to Mercedes in 2024 and that Tona Wolf doesn't mind stealing him away from Ferrari says enough about the current state of affairs. Tell us in the comments below what you think about Leclerc's future at Mercedes and his chances of driving for the team.